Hey, boys and girls. Shh, it's a me, Chico. This has got to be one of the weirdest games I've ever played. That's saying a lot. I am the biggest superstar ever in Brazil. I have a game. A good game. I'm good. You are good. We are all very good. Please make love to me. Wonderful. E. Nojento. Castle of Lucio. He's not kidding. Apparently, this character is pretty big in Brazil. Uh, has a big Portuguese fan base or cult following, I should say. There's some cartoons from 2000s, maybe even as early as the 90s. Uh, this is a property of Marcelo Barbosa. It's an interesting game. I mean, you can. I don't know if you heard it there at the beginning, but it opens up with the Ninja Turtles Kawa Bunga, pretty much. What the hell? It's 65 levels, but I use the term levels loosely because it's more like 65 rooms. And it almost reminds me, it has like a WarioWare, like minigame vibe to it, but it's a platformer. And basically you're trying to find the key or keys to progress to the next level. It's a weird game, it's a rather short but endearing title. I, I actually very affectionate, very fond of the title. So far, it's only $4.99. It's on Switch, PS4, Xbox One. It's been on Steam and PC for a while. And it's not going to set your wallet back too much. And there's two different modes. There's an easy mode, which gives you, as you can see, a bunch of HP here before you die and kick the bucket and it's finally game over. And then there's a harder mode. In that harder mode, you get one hit, basically, and you're dead. Think of it like Contra, but you do have a chance to get power-ups. So you can take more than one hit. And the levels start off innocently enough. Some of them you have to figure out sort of how to get to the exit, like this level right here. It's not all that tough. But some of the levels, it, it can get a little repetitive after a while, even though you're doing different things, but it's still, you know, the 8-bit aesthetic. It's not going to please everybody. It's not for everybody. I enjoyed it. It almost feels like an NES game that was never ported over here. And somehow was lost and they found the ROM and here you go. It's challenging. It's fun. Unfortunately there is a bug going on, an exploit, a glitch. And so you can get an easy platinum out of this if that's what you so desire. But it's a pretty short game anyway. Now think of it like Cuphead. It's very challenging at first but once you get the patterns down you, you should be beaten in no time. And it's a very short game. It's just a matter of getting the patterns down and being patient, not getting hit. Once you know each room inside out, it's relatively easy title to beat on either difficulty level. Now, don't get me wrong, it's a pretty difficult game, but just like Cuphead's a difficult game, it's all boils down to timing and memorization. And once you've done the levels a certain number of times, you should have very few problems. This is some of my earlier gameplay, so I can breeze through a lot of these levels here without getting hit. I can breeze through the first 20 or 30 levels without getting hit once at this point in time. I thought I had saved some of those clips, but evidently not, and I wanted to get this preview up because the game's already out. You can play it up for five bucks right now on Switch, PS4, or Xbox One. Uh, it's from Fantastico Studio, which did Rainbow's Toilets and Unicorns, which I actually reviewed. The humor and quirkiness of this title, you're either going to get it or you're not. It's a weird title. It's a very strange game, but very endearing. I enjoyed my time with it. I'm probably not done completely with this game, even though I've beaten it. I kind of want them to translate some of the videos or bring this into a cartoon to America. Hey, Adult Swimmer, you listen to this? Kind of unique. It, it's it's strange. It's weird. Kind of humorous, or at least I find it kind of humorous, but I'll tell you my strange humor. It's got lots of homages to 8-bit classics from everything from Mario Brothers to Mega Man. You 
name it, it's in there. So you can tell that they cl clearly have a love of 8-bit games. So it brought back nostalgia even though it's obviously not an NES game. But it's a cute little quirky little indie game. It's available now again, 5 bucks. And although this isn't a review, I will say this, if you're not a fan of the graphics of the 8-bit aesthetic, you're not going to like this game. And if you're not patient, or you have no patience, or you just suck at platformers, you might get really frustrated here, even with the two difficulty settings. But for those that are looking for something different, with a pseudo-Japanese flair to it, even though it's coming from Brazil. Uh, it's an interesting little game from an indie studio, from Marcelo Barbosa, and as I said, I would love to see this made into a cartoon in the States, so somebody needs to get on that quick. But it's, it's cute for what it is, and there's plenty of secrets, plenty of achievements and trophies on PlayStation or Xbox One. A relatively quick platinum trophy awaits you. There's even a warp zone. I mean, plenty of homages, as I said, to classic video game 8 bit titles. Cool stuff. I enjoyed it. I wouldn't mind playing a sequel. Apparently, there's other games from this character, Checo. So, who knew? Now, get used to that screen because you will see that a lot, especially early on. Hope you enjoy the gameplay. This is again some of my earlier gameplay. I thought I had saved some of the clips from when I had runs where I was doing 20, 30 stages with no hits, but you know, it's all good. I must have deleted them or ran out of space. I don't know what happened, but I'll try to get some more gameplay up of this soon and maybe even a review if you guys want to see it. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe so I can shut up already about that. You can also follow me on Twitter. I do have a Twitch and a Mixer account. All the good stuff. Not hard to find me under the same name. Next level taken. Enjoy. Available now. $4.99 from Fantastico Studio. It's Checo. This has been Next Level Taken. Until next time. Thank <laughs> you.